as people, we're contributing to people's growth. Like you say, you download some of my quotes, you'll send them to your friends because it helps you to feel in some way that you're growing, right? So the only reason, by the way, I do all this is because it's what I'm going through. Mm. So you're just on my journey with me. I'm no more positive than you. I'm just every day trying to expand my mind to the point where I genuinely can try and override um, the depression or override some of the negativity that comes with every day when we wake up. So mm -hmm. I'm not sharing any of this stuff because I think I know better than anybody about anything. This is my journey that you're experiencing with me day to day and it's very spontaneous. Yeah, you, you can know, see like, that. I wish I, could write, I wish I could talk to you the way I write sometimes. Like I can write much better than I can speak. But then I go, why am I so negative about my voice? Well, because for years the media has criticized my voice for years. So I've had a huge uh, machine just telling me that my voice is whiny or loud or because it's cockney, it's like harsh or aggressive. And of course it can come across like that because that's how I, that's what it makes it sound. So I'm like, I had to get over that hurdle. Yeah. So if you know, if I don't do a lot of podcasts. I get yeah. asked to do podcasts continually for years and I just don't do them because I'm still insecure about the way I speak. So I can I relate write. to that so much. Yeah. So I can write so much better than I can speak because I'm not stupid. I've actually got quite a high level of emotional and intelligence. I don't have the intellect of someone that went to Harvard or went to Oxford because I never trained. I left school at 16. I learned nothing in school. I always felt I was stupid in school. Um, I've got something called dyscalculus, which is a form of dyslexia. And it's all to do with numbers and stuff like that. So I get very insecure around that. But thank God I've got a business partner that is couldn't be more opposite. So, you know, for anyone that's running business, don't get worried about that because that stopped me also from having business for years because I was scared that I couldn't do the business side of it. But we don't have to do everything, right? So we just have to be good at what we're good at. And I'm very creative. I'm extremely good at coming up with really good brand new ideas. And, but all of it just comes, like you said, from my heart and it comes from my gut, right? Mm. And do you think a lot of this has come from with age? Like, do you think it's taken because now, you know, you're in your 50s? Do you think you've now got yeah. the confidence or you feel like, well, you know, I don't give a shit about what anyone else thinks about my accent or whatever? Because that's how I feel personally. Yeah, no, you sound gorgeous. And I'm sure I do. I don't care. Look, I do care. Look, we all care about the things that make us feel insecure. Otherwise, we wouldn't try so hard to work on it. Right. So of course, I care and being criticized. I don't like it. But if I post like, you know, I love those, like I've got no more fucks to give and all this stuff. And I love all those posts because I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to feel like. I yeah. don't want to care what Joe mm. Bloggs has got to say about me, because it's probably a bot these days, probably like an AI person. I don't even know if anyone's real or not real these days. So you're almost caring even about a computer, which is really weird, isn't it? That we're really, <laughs> so, you know, I have had a lot of insecurity my whole life. Um, I managed to exercise a lot of that through my acting. I think the character I played helped me to exercise a lot of that because I got to be really angry a lot when I was filming. My character was angry a lot. She screamed a lot. She shouted a lot. So, I, you know, being an actress, mm. I really got to feel that. And I really got to get rid of a lot of deep rooted like anger and, and sadness. She cried a lot, you know. So I exercised that. And then I realized that I honestly didn't want to be kind of came to the end of exercising all of those emotions I don't want to have all that so at some point you have to let that go right so I just didn't want to be playing that character anymore and having to live my life so angry and dark and depressed because it's really important for me to have to stay in a place of light as much mm. as I can for my mental health I've got kids as well and it's really important, especially these days, that we try and keep ourselves as happy as possible, however we decide to do that. And that is totally everybody's journey. It's nothing to do with anybody else. You know, whatever you do to keep yourself in a good place, I'd say, you know, 
knock yourself out, go do it. So, um, and you do a lot of meditation to help you. Is that something you all the time? Yeah. yeah, is that something that's come you know later in life as well? Um, I don't know. I, I, I learned a lot about well, I was in a program for years that taught us a lot about that sort of stuff as well as a lot of other things. So I learned a lot from that. Um, and then I went off on a different journey. Um, I didn't, you know, I've done a few different things like that in my life. So that was about 10 years ago, I guess I was in working a different kind of way. And then I took a lot of spiritual practices from that, that I've continued. And actually it's really expanded me way more than what I was doing there. So I just feel the the meditation, I love to do visualization meditation. I always sit, if I'm like unsure about something, I'll go in and I'll completely frame how that looks. I'm a very visual learner and I'm a very visual person. So I'll go in and I'll say, for instance, this morning, I've seen your stuff. I know what you sound like. I know what you look like kind of get what you're doing. I love what you you do and I like your philosophy on everything. So it's easy for me to go in at being an actress as well and always playing roles. It's really easy for me to go in and completely visualize what this conversation might look like. So I want to feel when I'm in that, how I'm feeling now. And usually what happens is it goes way better. So this is much better mm, than what you than expect. What I Aww. And it always kind of goes like that. I do believe it's a scientific thing. Yeah, definitely. America, but it was definitely like that for me. There was a lot of visualization involved 